it's been a while since y'all have seen me. What's going on, y'all? So, just kind of want to do a little video to kind of let you know what's been going on. September 21st. It's a nice 49 degrees out here. I just got the first one done. A little bit later of a start than I like to, but is what it is. Um, do, 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 do. So a lot's been going on. If you followed me on Instagram, um, you know what's been going on. Um, I've had, there's been a lot of I don't want to say changes, but I guess kind of adjustments to situations. Um, I did get a bagging system for the Kubota and the Toro, and that bagging system has been sold. Uh, so I don't have those anymore. I did get a dump from Seat Catcher. It's a Protero. I'll make sure to show you guys that later. I don't have it with me. Um, uh, my enclosed trailer, uh, one of the spindles on the back axle snapped. Uh, I had a wheel fall off. Thankfully, I was in a neighborhood uh, and it wasn't far from my shop, so I was able to limp it back and get my 16-foot trailer to use that, which I just sold last night uh, because I bought a new trailer, which I'll show you guys that at the next stop. Um, and that's pretty much all I can think of that's really sort of changed. Um, starting aeration this week. That'll be, uh, I got one to do Tuesday, and then I'll probably start everything else Friday and Saturday. I got a couple I got to spray today. Uh, well, mainly just one, uh, but I've got another one that I got to spray Thursday that I'm aerating in the next couple weeks or so. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's what that's all basically. Quick little rundown of what's been going on. I'll show you guys the new trailer. Um, this is just... So I am fixing the enclosed trailer before I know I've got a lot of questions on my Instagram and stuff about it. Uh, I am fixing the enclosed trailer. I ordered uh, 5,200 pound axles. It has 3,500s on it now. So that's gonna take some labor and welding and cutting to make those work, but not a huge deal. Uh, the guy I rent my shop from does a lot of fab work. So I'll get him to do that. Uh, he built the platform. So that is getting fixed. It's just it's going to be down the rest of the season because uh, the axles won't be in probably until late October, early November. So I needed something bigger to get me through with aeration season and the rest of mowing season and just something bigger in general. I'm looking at buying a tractor in the next couple of years. So I was going to need a bigger trailer. Anyway, uh, so I will show you guys the new trailer when I get to the next stop. All right, y'all. So real quick, this is the new trailer. Six foot eleven by twenty footer. I did add e track down the sides for strapping things down. It's got the equipment racks in the back. Cat. What's up, kitty? Uh, got the green touch rack to put on here. It hurt a little bit driven into these. Uh, that's how I ran it for the pipe top trailer. Just drove those bolts through there because these three weren't going to line up on the top rail very well. Nice and solid. I can shake the whole trailer. I need to get some bigger washers for this. I just have this run through the mesh. I need to get some wider washers that'll cover this whole mesh. Uh, for that, so I don't have any wave in there because it's not a turbine. Their tire mount and basket on the front. Uh, there's my trimmer in there. So I have this just tied down here. I need to get another jungle boot for this. Um, I ordered one, or I got one at GIE last year. There's one in my enclosed trailer. I need to get one for this trailer. Uh, but that's everything on here. So I'm going to get back to work. Not a real good place here to set the camera up. So I will get some footage later on.
this is number three and number four over there for the day and it's like noon because I was having issues with this um, the belt started slipping so if you have one of these time masters or even the commercial 30s I think still have these pulleys here they run this cogged belt uh, and the pulleys have correspond to those cogged belts and the pulley had uh, I guess gummed up or gotten stuff compacted into the teeth and it was making the belt jump and the blades were hitting and timing and all that stuff and I was just the adjustment sliding piece is just a stupid design I was having I had so much trouble getting one of the bolts back in for that uh, one of the bolts it slides on but just something y'all for y'all to be aware of keep an eye on that keep an eye how clean uh, take a screwdriver and clean out those little pull clean out the pulleys every so often so gonna head to the next one now and try and make up some time since that took an hour to fix I messed with it out here for like a half hour and then had to go to my shop and finish it because I didn't have enough tools and change the blades so all right let's get to the next one. what's up y'all happy first day of fall it is Tuesday now um, it's nice and cold it was like 42 degrees when I left my house at 6 30 this morning I got an early start. Uh, I'm just leaving number, was that one, two, three, number four, but the first one I cut's an apartment complex. Um, so that's my third resident. Uh, I trim the bushes in the front. That one is, the front yard is every week, the backyard is every other week. It was sort of borderline not needing to be cut, but I trimmed the bushes and kind of had some stuff laying in the yard, so. I went ahead and got the front, worst case, I'll skip the front next week. Um, when I cut the back, I'm heading to the next one now, and then I've got, let's see here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six left to cut. One of those I need to aerate, uh, so I might do that one last. It's in my neighborhood, so not a huge deal. Um, we'll see what happens, but I might just cut it and swing back by, or back through with the aerator later on. Um, I don't know. Either that or I'll go drop the 48 off and put the aerator over the trailer when I'm done with that. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but heading to the next one now. Maybe I'll see if I can set the camera up a little bit and get a little bit of footage there. So I hope y'all are having a good week. Um, and yeah, see you at the next place. that saying go work comfortabler not uncomfortabler or maybe that's work smarter not harder I don't know whichever one it is I really don't care so we'll get this one blown off and head to the <laughs> So it's Tuesday evening, uh, 6 o'clock, and out here 
aerating. Uh, these were the last two yards I had to cut today. That one's cut and trimmed. This one doesn't really hardly ever need to be weed eated uh, other than some edging along the front. But here's the seed I'm using this year. Southern Lawn Max. There's blue tag. That powered by Grossmart, and it's a mixture. It's a uh, fertilizer coated seed, so I don't. I'm not putting starter down uh, at first with my seed. I'll come back two weeks after aeration. But you can see some of the plugs that are pulling. The ground's pretty soft. I tore up a little bit here. here. Not a big deal, but I got the aerator back here running, so I figured I'd set you guys up and get some footage. So you can see, that's tearing up pretty well. It's only getting so close there. He's got some tiger, yeah, tiger lilies here and there. Set you guys up and get some footage of this. two blown off and call it a night I think it's like 6:30. Um, I think total time aeration wise was like less than a half hour um, so if you guys are thinking of getting a stand on an aerator they are fantastic um, this is a, the equivalent of the tour and the X marks it's 48 inches wide so anywhere I can fit my V rod one not the big V rod uh, this will fit um, so, and they're relatively quick too. I'm sure the newer ones are faster than this one. This one's a 2011. Um, I bought it last year with 36 hours on it. It's now got 78.8. So, um, and I did have to replace one of the tine shafts. I had one of the housing bearing housings crack, and that was the only way to fix that. Uh, and I did have to put a cylinder on it. But other than that, no major problems. Just probably, that was probably eight. It was probably just age. Um, with low hours, it probably sat most of his life. So. But I'm going to get these two blown off and head to the shop, unload all this, and get back at it again tomorrow. What's up, y'all? So happy Friday. Uh, why did I say Friday? Thursday morning. Um, didn't pull the camera out at all yesterday. Just trying to get as much done as possible. Trying to beat the rain. Uh, do, 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 do. I did get a few done off in a day schedule, which was good. Um, so there's that. Uh, so we got those done. Off of, I got three done off in a day schedule. So that leaves me, I think, with like 12 today, which they should go by pretty quick. It's all. It's a real tight route. 
so I'm heading to go get breakfast now and start on my route. Uh, I think the one that I have now, or the one that I would go to first today because I did the first few off of my route, I think I'm going to wait and I'm going to go to a different one and then come back to that one just because it's in a nice neighborhood. I feel like it's still a little too early, but we'll see. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and see what happens, but, so, let's, uh, let's get this day cranked out. Looks like we're getting some rain tomorrow, so I don't know how much aeration I'm gonna get done. I'd like to go pick my seed up, um, but if it's raining, I don't know how well that's gonna go. I might just have to clean my truck out and cram as much as I can in the back seat and in the side seat here, uh, cause I use coated seeds, so I'll put the seed down and then come two weeks after it, uh, after I put it down, if it's germinated, go ahead and throw my starter down. So, head to the probably go get some breakfast and sheets, and then head to the first one. What's up y'all? So it is now Sunday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video with this for today. I uh, just wanted to kind of recap the week. <coughs> got all my yards done on time thankfully. Uh, Friday it ended up raining so I did go get all my material for aeration and seeding. I got a couple done yesterday. I didn't pull the camera out uh, just because I only did a half day and I actually got the aerator stuck in a backyard so that was fun dealing with. Uh, and then today I had a commercial lot I needed to cut for a friend of mine. Uh, so I'm actually going to look at the new GoPros because I'm filming on the, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, the six. Um, and they just released the nine and it's got a little screen on the front uh, that you can see what the camera sees. So I'm gonna go check that out, see, I think the local Best Buy's got one. If not, we've got three or four in the area, so I'll go buy one of them uh, and just kind of check it out and see because uh, I'm interested in one, so and I've got some money, so why not? So I hope you guys had a good week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and I will see you in the next one.